The Chicago Bears will absolutely be a better team this season just based off coaching alone. Let's talk about that starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. Now, the NFL world is on fire, at least NFL Twitter, right? Based on Justin Fields' recent interview with Ryan Gatos of Fox Sports, where Justin Fields basically admitted that the culture last season was better and that this season feels much better. Talked about, Justin said, we're just kind of trying to reculture or get the culture in the building. I don't think our culture was the best last season, which isn't surprising, right? I mean, a lot of losing, a lot of bad game plans, a lot of just kind of throwing things together, three different quarterbacks being in there. Justin Fields said he never felt like a leader on that team. You know what I'm saying? He was kind of, kind of trying to come in and figure it out. Now he's feeling a lot more comfortable while working with these new coaches in Matt Eberflus and Luke Getze. And here's why I believe the Chicago Bears will be better simply based on the fact that Matt Nagy's not in the building and Coach Flus is. The difference that I see from last season to this season, just in the beginning, right? Like there's no game tape for me to go off of. There's no uh, 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 games for me to go off of. There's no actual coaching on the field for me to go off of. But looking at how things were set up, just kind of looking at last season coming into it, right? And the question marks that we had, the question marks that we had wrapped around what was going to be the scheme, what was going to be the system, were they going to use the running back more, was Justin Fields going to start, right? All of those questions coming in, immediately starting off before we've even gotten to training camp, we're still at OTAs. All of those questions are answered this season already, right? Uh, we know what kind of scheme we're going to be running. We know we're going to be running the ball outside. We know that we're going to be using David Montgomery. We know that we're going to be using Blazing Game. We know that we're going to be relying on Justin Fields fields at our quarterback position we know that he's our starter right just starting off those things gives you a better foundation to work from i remember coming into last season looking at it and saying like listen there's a lot of things that the bears can do this season there's a lot of things that they they can make happen even though they had that weird schedule but we spent all of training camp and most of preseason talking about who's going to be the unquestioned starter right like th there was confusion not only among just us fans but also among the players in the building that was the problem right we didn't know if Allen robinson was going to be the number one of the number two we didn't know like to me just the stability that's going to be in the building coming into training camp not preseason into training camp the understanding the feeling that hey justin's the starter we're going to run the ball. We're going to make things easy for them. We're simplifying the game plan. These things that our coach has already told us are going to be in place. I think that the Bears take a step forward just based on that, right? Simplifying it for the players. I, I like the term we use the construction. Keep it simple, stupid. You know what I'm saying? Not to call anybody dumb, but like that that's that's what they used to say all the time because if you keep it simple, stupid, KISS, the KISS acronym, right? All the it, it makes it so it's hard for you to mess up. It makes it so that it becomes repetitive for the things that you're doing. And so, hey, I've done this so many times. I know when to use this in this situation. That's what's going to happen for the Chicago Bears this season, that they're just going to keep it simple and they're going to make sure that the players are continuously in a position that they're going to be successful. And you think about the players that we talk about from last season that had success. You think about how many schemes they were running on offense, right? You think about the offensive line, how many schemes they were running on offense, right? Like it's it's mind blowing to me. And so I think just the stability that the coaching is bringing into the building is going to improve this team at a minimum two games. In my opinion, I do have the Bears going eight and nine this season. We actually broke down as well, like the roster differences and stuff like that. And, and that's a very intriguing point to me based on where this offense can go because of the pieces that they did put in. I know there's not a lot of big name pieces, but when you think about it, it seems like the roster construction makes perfect sense because we understand what the scheme is now. Now, before I continue with the video, I do want to know how you guys feel about this whole thing, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you feel a little bit more confident coming into this season, knowing that the coaches are bringing that stability? Do you feel like the Chicago Bears will be better this season? I personally do. I'm not saying that's a 12-win season, but I think that the Bears will move in the right direction. I'll be down there talking with you in the comments as well. 
here's the other thing that uh, that we broke down right we did on the on the daily show today we essentially went through the entire roster you can check that link by checking the uh uh, uh pinned comment on the video but we essentially went through the entire roster and graded position by position where we feel like the bears have improved or have taken a step back to me the bears have improved based on the roster that they have mixed with the scheme i know a lot of people look at this bears roster and they say hey listen like you didn't go get anybody we've still got questions at wide receiver we've still got questions at the running or uh on the offensive line. We've still got que questions at all these positions on the offense. Yeah, you added a couple pieces on defense, but you didn't improve the offense better. I would disagree based on the fact that we already understand what the scheme is. The Bears run uh, uh, blocking last season was not terrible. It was just underutilized. The Bears running back room last season was not terrible. It was just underutilized. And so when you think about that coming into this season, right, you're using your scheme to work to the player's strengths, not just the running back room and the run blocking, but also the fact that you went out and drafted Bayless Jones I still think that was a reach don't get me wrong I still think you could have gotten Bayless Jones later in the draft traded back whatever it is but going to get a guy like Bayless Jones right where yeah he might be a little bit older yeah he might be a little bit uh uh he might not be the flashy name coming out of the draft, but guess what? If I need to make quick out passes or quick underneath passes, Velas Jones is the guy that I don't mind having on my team because I know he's got that burst of speed. He's got that underneath gadget guy moves that he can absolutely make something happen. On top of that, Darnell Mooney put up over a thousand yards last season in the most confusing uh, offense possibly known to man based on how Matt Nagy was running it. On the flip side of that, this season, there's going to be a stability. We know what they're running. Darnell Mooney's going to know what to expect from the quarterback throwing the ball because they've got Justin Fields in there as the unquestioned starter. He's not going to have to figure out a rapport with three different guys and come into a season where, uh, what was it, five, four games into the season, five games into the season, Justin Fields is starting. These guys haven't worked together in practice uh, pretty much most of the offseason training camp and all that stuff. So taking a step in that regard to move it in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like Darnell Mooney is going to be able to take a step forward. If Darnell Mooney does become, and a step forward from a thousand plus yard season, remember that. If Darnell Mooney does become your number one on this team and Byron Pringle is your number two, or Velas Jones is your number two, and Darnell Mooney's getting the first, uh, uh, the best DB draws over on him, you're going to see the other guys play well based on the scheme that they're in. Again, guys that can create space, guys that can play underneath, and it's going to be very run heavy. Expect Justin Fields to throw maybe 20 to 25 times a game unless you're really down right. I don't think this is going to be like last season where we're talking about Justin Fields trying to air it out every play but not having the time to do so because the offensive line wasn't good enough at blocking. Again, scheme. They weren't a great pass block team. Took too much time for these plays to develop. When you're running a run heavy scheme, there's not going to be a lot of time for these plays to develop. Even a lot of your passing plays are looked on as extended run plays in a lot of those situations. So we can see Justin Fields absolutely flourish based on the speed that he's going to have to get the ball out, based on how this team is actually going to play to the team's strengths. And I think adding Lucas Patrick in there is just going to be even bigger for this offensive line because you're going to have somebody who already understands what the system's going to be coming in that Luke Getzey wants to run. To me, I think, like I said, the Bears will improve at a minimum two games. I have them sitting eight and nine right now, but I could see a path to where if they get rolling, they're going to win more. I do. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I feel like the Bears are going to win out the entire month of November based on the teams that we play that month. I think they're, they're maybe one tough game, maybe versus the Dolphins, but I don't believe in two at all. Um, but listen, I, I get it that it's early and you're, you're probably like, Pat, like we felt these same ways about Matt Nagy coming in, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like we're starting in a different spot than when Matt Nagy he was coming in right I don't feel like this is the same situation I don't have this feeling that Justin Fields can't play I just have this feeling of how quickly is he going to be able to adapt to the new offense but the fact that he's already been working in it the fact that we've already heard that the footwork has improved the mechanics have improved and and the consistency of just working with the new coaching staff and all of that that Justin's really feeling comfortable in that I feel like the Bears are going to be able to start the season maybe surprising us a little bit I still think you've got two tough games to start the season you've got San Francisco going Green Bay so that could change things dramatically but I mean when you're talking about the consistency of it the coaching staff looking at the what, what they're going to be able to put in place I don't think that this is going to be like last season where we're looking at the Bears like good lord we can't get an offense that's moving down the field we can't figure anything out on this team right now we are awful we don't even belong in this game we don't look like we're playing the sport of football right now I think there's going to be a lot of 
of hard fought competitive games that the Bears might end up coming up on the wrong side of. And that's OK. We're taking steps, baby steps moving forward. But like I said, I want to know how you guys feel, man. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you think the Chicago Bears will improve just based on the consistency of this coaching staff already. I'll be down there talking with you in the comments to continue watching our Chicago Bears content. Click the links on the screen or check the links in the description below. And they Chicago! Y'all stay safe out there, man. Shout out to y'all. Go check out the Daily Show if you missed it as well. Peace.